Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. You dare question me, foolish mortal? I am the immortal Dragonborn, slayer of Alduin, the World Eater. I do not care about your Cloud District. What is going on guys? Swordsman3 here and today I want to bring you another Skyrim Special Edition mod review for the PS4. This time, first off, I am loving this outfit known as... Dude, why are you staring at me? Like, I know I look fabulous, but I'm trying to do a mod review on YouTube. Like, can you give me a second, please? Right. Oh, thank you. Jeez. Anyways, Divine Compilation by Vane.3805. Currently, I am wearing the Divine Cloak and Veil. There is a Daedric Shroud and Cow, which gives you more of a dark and evil look. But I like the Cloak and Veil because it makes me look freaking glorious and fantastic. But that's not the reason we're here. No, the re where we actually are is west of Whiterun. And I want to do a house review, Gray's Tree Home by Goon Mize. And when I say tree home, yes, I'm talking about an actual house inside of a tree. Look at this thing. Is this not gorgeous? I absolutely love the aesthetic of the giant tree with the lanterns hanging off the limbs and where it's located with the little wooden walkway. This looks fantastic from the outside, but let's go inside and see what we can figure out. So up the steps, first impressions, heading towards the house. Um, okay, I love the flowers. That's pretty cool. I, you know, I'm a sucker for greenery. And for water features. Oh, I love it. It's kind of like a little lake. That's cool. Um, oh, we got a little lantern up here above us. Um, cool, I like it. Let's head inside and see what we can find. Wait, whoa. <laughs> okay, kind of saw the world there for a second. That was That was weird. Anyways, okay, so first impression is green. <laughs> it's really green. We are living inside of a tree, though. So that's kind of to be expected. So we have a, uh, a stupid goat. Okay. Hello, stupid goat. How are you? This one needs something. Oh. Uh, apparently he can be our follower. Uh, that's neat. Go ahead and follow me, you stupid then goat. On, friend. <laughs> okay. Um, here we have Alduin and awesome, like, glowy blue wisps kind of... Oh. Light's kind of freaking out when I look up and down. That's that's weird. Anyways, blue, glowy blue wisp. That's kind of cool. Um, looks like static decorations here that I can't knock over. That's awesome because I'm kind of clumsy. Uh, cool chair and table and light's still kind of freaking out just a little bit. That's cool. Here we have uh, bookshelves. What are our books? Very cool. Is there something behind the bookshelf? No, that'd be a cool place for a weapon rack. I'd like to have something like that. That'd be cool. A smelter and a forge. Skyforge. Okay, I like having a Skyforge. That's really cool. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, wait, is the door wood? Wasn't it stone on the outside? That's kind of odd. Anyways, let's head upstairs. And here we have a... What? I can't get up. Like, I'm stuck on this top. There we go. Just got to jump, I suppose. Um, grindstone and an anvil. And tanning rack. Okay, so all of our... Enchanting supplies, Arcane Enchanter, Alchemy Lab, Staff Enchanter, got a bed, oh, oh, light's still freaking out with, um, three chests, and whoa, whoa, got, uh, narrow walkway, apparently, um, let's head back up, and I'm stuck again, jump, there we go, stupid goat, what are you doing? If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell them coming, <sighs> or I stupid goat, just fall, we just, see. whatever, you're a stupid goat, living up to your name. All right, let's carefully make our way over here to these chests, which are really freaking out because of the light. Um, okay, some chests to store stuff. Um, it's a pretty plain house, just a single room, it looks like. Um, I mean, we're living in a tree, which is cool. It's, it's pretty basic and simple. I like the aesthetic of it. It's cool. It's got everything you need, I suppose. Let's, uh, let's go back outside. So, yeah, I, I enjoy this house. I think it's really cool. Um, it is a stone door on the other side, though. That's kind of odd. That, that's just me being picky, I suppose. Um, I do like that it's kind of in this little private lake. Can we go under the walkway? Like, under the pier? <laughs> the stone has no bottom. Okay. Uh, can I get up here? Is there a treasure chest? Is there a secret? Is it the Lost City of Atlantis? What's over here? Oh, nothing. Dang it. I was hoping for, like, at least a treasure chest or something. Oh, a dog. What? Um... <laughs> Where did this dog come from? I don't think he's part of the mod. I think he's something else. But anyways. Um, yeah, so the, the house is cool. The outside is gorgeous. I There's still a few issues with the lighting and not being able to walk up the top. Uh, whoa, did that deer just fall in the water? 
<laughs> yes, he did. That's that was funny. Come on, dear, get out. Get, get move your dear butt. Come on, get. Oh, fine, whatever. He wants to be in the lake. I'm not here to, to question it. Anyways, uh, there's a few issues with the lighting and um, with the top step. Um, but it's a good house. The outside's gorgeous. Um. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think it's a great house. There's some issues and some bugs. Fix those, and I think it could definitely be at least a 10 out of 10 because the idea is great. So this is Gray's Tree Home again by Goonmise. I'll link it, uh, link it in the description down below so that you can check it out. It would be great for like a Wood Elf playthrough. That would be awesome. Um, we also have Divine Compilation by Vane.3805, which is this awesome armor set. That, whoa, it's, it's not working. Let's try unequipping and reequipping. See if that does it. There we go. All right. Anyways, that's it for me. Follow me on Twitter, and I will see you fabulous people next time. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't.